so welcome back guys we will try Timbuktu today see how it smells like I think it's Timbuktu yeah I think it's Timbuktu mm. let's see I can already smell it. It's giving me mouth freshener vibes. So in India, you have you when you done with a big meal, especially if you eat a lot of non-vegetarian meal. After that, there's this habit of the stewing uh, beetle leaves. And in that beetle leaves, you get uh, some, oh, I don't know, we call it paka, uh, paan in, in, in Hindi. So you have some certain ingredients, right? They supposedly help in digestion. And we have some mouth freshener items as well in this too, to, to avoid, uh, to, to freshen your mouth so that you don't stink, you know, because sometimes when you eat non-vegetarian eggs and all that you, your mouth starts to stink right that's what i'm smelling at the initial blast that's what i now it still smells like the same there is this freshness right there is this ozonic kind of freshness about it with a, a little bit of that uh, mouth freshener vibe so probably spices I don't know what what most they use to give to get this mouth freshener kind of vibe. probably spices but where from this ozonic freshness is coming I'm a bit curious about it I call it Timbuktu. Let's see what the note breakdown says. See so how? Okay. So Woody Shipra, Shipra, and uh, Bertrand Duchafol. So mango. What? They fuck. Mango, pink pepper, cardamom, incense, papyrus, and caro carunde. Base notes are vetiver, mere, patchouli, and benzoin. That's a weird uh, combination of notes, man. It's inspired by his travels to this old African city, uh, the ancestral magical fragrance ritual, Busulan. The second fragrance of Latin travel collection, Timbuktu. The power of Wusulan lies in the innate art of Mali women in perfect creation, traditionally passed on from mother to daughter as a magical fragrance, but for seduction and securing true love. The green sharpness of the ripe mango and the spicy warmth of pink pepper make an impressive prelude to the mysterious heart of aromatic frankincense and papyrus smoke. The pure and light smoke wraps the exotic African flower Karo Karunde. It mixes with the earthy and green vetiver. The base is composed of balsam spices, patchouli, myrrh, and vetiver. This wild, magical, and mysterious African fragrance with woodsy notes, thick resins, and spices lasts on kin skin for a long time. It is created to awake memories and the desire for long distance travels, as well as to remain one of the beauty and the miracle of life as seen through the eyes of the women of Timbuktu. It's, it's definitely an unusual fragrance. It's, it's very exotic considering a western nose. I think they would definitely find this a bit exotic. But again, as I mentioned, I'm from India and spices and all these things, they, are not, they don't surprise me and they, I don't find them particularly attractive in general. But this one, this one is a nice fragrance. 
though it reminds me of of a little bit of that um, mouth freshener uh, pan type of vibe there is there is what else can i say it it smells good it it definitely reminds me of a pan shop in india but i wouldn't wear it but i wouldn't i w- I, w- I won't say this is a bad smell i wouldn't wear it but i can see why this is popular because like coming from a western or a more european perspective this is something that that would uh, blow their minds because it's not it's not a common smell it's not a it's not something that you get to smell very often right not in asia though not in india it's a nice fragrance just it just um, i i think uh, indians won't find it like that uh, interesting because of the whole pan and beetle history behind it i think it's probably the vetive that's giving that ozonic uh, freshness or oh, could be wrong could be something else maybe the karo karo de i don't know i don't know how it smells like hmm woody shikra decorous and some spices freaking fragrance it's nice it's not bad it's if you are after some interesting fragrances i think you should definitely try this it's a nice fragrance thanks a lot guys for watching bye bye